Welcome back to my channel guys. So this time I want to show you how to get chat GPT Go plan for a year without having to pay a dime. So how do we go about it? The first thing I wanted to do is to register a new Gmail account. Remember to register a new Gmail account. Like in my own case, this is the one I just registered. So you could see it from here. This is a new Gmail account I just registered. Yes, perfect. So after you register that Gmail account, you register Play Store with that Gmail account you just registered. Remember the step, you would register Play Store. This is Play Store for you, for those of you that don't know Play Store. So, I know every Android user knows Play Store, but you need to use Android for this procedure. So, this is Play Store. So, you're going to register the new account you registered. You're going to register it on Play Store afresh. So, I'm going to do that right away. So, let me register this on Play Store afresh. So, here is Play Store right now. And right away, I want to use the search button. I want to use the search button to search for two things so come to the search button so i'm going to click on search and i'm going to look for india vpn remember to find india vpn there are a lot of them but the one i use is this so this is the one i use right here so i'm going to use india vpn private double fast so let me do that right away so i'm going to click on that i'm going to install the india vpn right away so I'm going to install the India VPN. The next thing I want to do is to open the India VPN that I just downloaded. I'm going to open it right away. And having to open it, I'm going to have this. And I'm going to allow. I'm going to use the light version. Then I'm going to connect automatically to any Indian location with the VPN. I'll be able to change my location to an Indian location. So I'm going to come to my settings right away. Remember the settings, so I'm going to come to my settings, which is this. So come to settings right away. So I'm going to come to settings, and here in settings, I want to come to location, which is turned off. So I'm going to click on location. I'm going to toggle it on. So I'm going to toggle my location on. Look at your AI service. You're going to allow location for AI service because now we are in India and want the app to be able to detect that we are in India. So here we have the app location. And in the application, we are going to come to, we are going to make sure Chrome allows location, of course. So these are the ones that allows location. We are going to make sure our calendar allows location. Because the main trick of this is that your app needs to detect that you are in India. And most of the times, it's very difficult for apps to detect your location. But you have to allow it to detect your location. Because this is already available in India, no other places. It's already available in India. And you have to use it this very way, I'm showing you. So you come to your Google Play Store as well. Make sure your Google Play Store allows location. Yes, and you see all the permission given to your Google Play Store. You could disallow all these other ones. Disallow notification. Disallow phone. Yes, you can disallow phone. You can disallow SMS. Just disallow all these things. Yes, make sure you disallow them so that your app will be able to detect you are in India. So the next thing I want you to allow is allow location for your camera. Allow location for your map yes allow location for your map and make sure it's not using precise location make sure all the things i'm allowing are not using precise location so make sure the precise location are turned off use precise location which is this make sure they are turned off yes so i'm going to allow all that and basically my phone allow and i'll make sure it's not using precise location good so we have play store among the list of services that uses location which is this which is the most important part of this so we're going to make sure we come to our play store so come to play store right now and add payment details yes this is where it all get tricky so on your play store you need to add your payment details and here it is so you're going to come to payments and subscription on your play store as you could see from here all you have to do is to click on your profile let me show you that you click on this profile which is this so you click on this yes so that's what i clicked on so i'm going to click on that and yeah after clicking on that you're going to click on payment which is this payment and subscription so i'm going to click on that right away so clicking on payment and condition i'm going to choose my payments method as you can see this is your payments method so i'm going to choose that right away so then choose payments method and now i'm going to add my payments method so what I want to do now, if you have a virtual card, use a virtual card. Like you can get a virtual card on Gray, on GitPay, get a virtual card, then come to add credit or debit card. That's what I'm going to use right away. So I'm going to add credit or debit card right now. 
so having to do that i'm going to just add my card number and all those details so i'll proceed to do that right away so let me do that so now i've added my card to play store that's the most important part so i've added my card and here i have a mastercard but make sure when you're adding your card make sure you choose your location should be india don't choose any other place choose your location to be india and choose a city in india so having to do all that after you've added your payments what you want to do next is to go to ChatGPT. you need to download ChatGPT app and make sure it's an updated app so make sure it's updated so you go to ChatGPT. you download ChatGPT on the new play store account so you download ChatGPT this way so i'm going to come to ChatGPT right here if you have to you have to use a new phone or you try to add a new user to your phone uh, if you need to know how to add a new user just check the video displayed on the cards up there so i'm going to install ChatGPT right away i'm going to install the normal ChatGPT, and having to install ChatGPT, i'm going to come back to my settings again come back to your settings and come to your location again come to your location this way and having to come to your location make sure this ai service is allowed and after having to allow that you have to come to app location permission so having to come to app location permission you come to charge gpt right here and you're in charge gpt you allow only while using app allow charge gpt while using app and make sure this use precise location is turned off yes make sure that is turned off and you have to see all charge gpt permission so i'm going to click on that yes you only have permission to your location which is good so having to do all that i believe by now the app should be able to detect you are in india yes so let's go to charge gpt right away so i'm going to go to charge gpt right away and having to come here i'm going to sign up with the new account i created so i'm going to sign up right away so i'm going to continue then i'm going to click on sign up i'm going to continue with google and having to continue with google i'm going to have my gmail so i'm going to continue right away so just continue come to store.blackcreative.com creative.com to get your charge with your account and every other accounts you need so this is store.blackcreative.com so you have to just search for charge gpt just search for charge gpt there are different charge gpt plan on the store so when you search for charge gpt it's going to bring the product here is store.blackcreative.com and you have chat gpt go subscription for one year right here so this is what you're going to use charge gpt go accounts for one year so when you come back to your home page of black creative store you come right here you see capcut pro for android you see charge gpt go subscription this is the one you want to go for and you have charge gpt plus for public domain here yeah? so i'm going to come to charge gpt right now and yeah i'm going to input the basic information my date of birth and everything so i'm going to continue this is going to charge gpt directly once you log into the charge gpt app then you will see something like this that says try go so you're going to click on the try go this has to pop up yes it has to pop up if you do it and it not pop up you try again uh you you do all the processes again so what i want to do now is to upgrade to go right away as you could see from here so i'm going to click on the button that says upgrade to go as you can see is a 12 month free trial plan and starting today which is 2025 but once i subscribe i'm going to be able to use it till like december 18 2026 i'm going to subscribe right away without having to pay anything i'm going to click on the subscribe button and this is the card i inserted to my play store earlier on so you can see how everything gets to connect at the very end so i'm going to just click on subscribe to continue right away so as you can see now it's connecting the payment to the google play because i added the card to the google play now you would see that the payment is successful then i'll click on yes always so if you do this and you did not get the try go you're going to repeat the process and once your payment is successful all you have to do is to click on yes then the subscription will be yours if you have any question you want to ask or you're having difficulties do comments below if not subscribed to my channel just yet do subscribe to my channel and when you try to upgrade again you see that you are already subscribed to charge gpt go and that's all about it i hope to see you on the next one bye for now